pitch and starting in this one Freddie Peralta Chris he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there well incredible mound presence and he's going to attack hitters you look at that strikeout per nine ratio over ten coming into this start so he's a pitcher that wants the ball he's aggressive he knows that he can get the swing and miss especially when he needs it most we'll see how effective he is in this one ready to go now a chance for nope. Stephen Kwan and the slider just misses hard hit to third Fires across the diamond, one out in the top of the first. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. In that cleanup spot, a key piece for this club, David Fry. Well, right in the middle of this lineup, and that's exactly where he belongs. I mean, he's there for a reason, Boog. This guy, they know they can rely on him, and he's a force, a presence there that, you know, puts a little trepidation in that opposing pitcher. We'll see what kind of impact he has in this one. Next offering in there for a strike. One and, two. and it's one and two. Out and miss struck him out and there are two down he's really good hitting the baseball the other way so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch clearly he had him fooled here's Jose Ramirez two outs bases empty Yeah, that Here, skips in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. That one oh. just misses, and now it's three oh, and two. Count. I think he wanted that call on the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. Two outs. That one 95 to finish him off. Guardians go down one, two, three. And now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at American Family Field. And on the mound in this one, number 39. How about a scouting report on him? Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So, on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. This is Bryce Terang. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Right into the play. And he walked it. Take your base. Ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first Ooh, base with a quick three pass. Next for Milwaukee, Jackson, Jackson, Milwaukee. Jackson Chorio. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a foul straight back. One and two now. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. No, there's a small side of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's the other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. On the ground to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. And now it's William Contreras. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And the right-hander deals. 
Hood. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, that's a blue zone right there. Got a gold good. zone on Not the hitting good. chart. Just doesn't have really much success good. in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. So first and second with two outs. Willie Adamas stands in. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Quan moving under this one. And the inning is over. Brewers strand a couple. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. So in now for Cleveland, David Fry. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Chorio pulls that one down, one up, one down. Here's Josh Naylor. One out, base is empty. In there. And so now one and two. And that one upstairs. A plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do ball. something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Down is full. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah. Oh, and a nice sliding stop. And they get the out. We saw a few skills on display there for the out. Technique was great. Reaction time was there. And the slide was smooth. Watching that play come together was really fun. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the rookie right fielder, John Kenzie Noel. Swing and a miss. One and two, the count. That one is absolutely belted. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Andres Jimenez. Man at second. Swings through that. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here in Milwaukee, go. bottom of the second. Here's the Brewers catcher now, Gary Sanchez. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The line of the pitch. Yeah. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And makes the grab. Then there's one down. That is, that is. The first base. Three. 
Oh, and the batter yeah. now is Reese Hoskins. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we see more that's and more of that down. lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout oh. concerns. That one misses. Three, one. three and one now. On the inside corner for a strike. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Next for the Brewers, Sal Fraley. Two down, nobody on. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Gets two and on to first. Go. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head on now to the top of the third. No score. And we're back. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. The shortstop. Tyler Freeman. The 1-1. One -one. And that's in for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Got him swinging. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Austin Hedges stands in. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Three. Got it. So Hedges is gone. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting the feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Oh. And another ball. Two, two. Should be extra bases around first and hustling for second and he'll pull in there with a stand-up double showed some really nice patience in that at bat and worked himself into a good count that was a thing of beauty he may have been a little behind the pitch but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game well chris through the early stages he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Headed towards the corner. Mitchell going after it. He's got it. And that's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the rookie third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. And a pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Second baseman, so the lineup flips over. Bryce Terang, the next to hit. And yeah. that's in for a strike. One, two. Here's a one, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
He swung over top of the curveball. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. So up next, Jackson Chorio. And yeah. strike two. One and two is the count. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Throw to first, and Milwaukee is set down in order. Nobody left for Milwaukee, still no score. Out of the fourth, Leading now it's Jose Ramirez. The Ramirez signed a five-year extension on opening day in 2022. What a great day that was. And Cleveland is still the only team Ramirez has ever played for in the majors. He was signed in 2009 out of the Dominican Republic. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. And that's a leadoff double. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Go ahead, run on base. Next to hit, David Fry. High fly ball down the left field line. Back there. And out of here. Fire up the dugout. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2 0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives. Hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation and ball get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. And now it's Josh Naylor. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Got it by him for the K. Now bad. So the digging right in, here. John Kenzie John Noel. 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 One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Now what a two. Ball Clearly three. Was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault it. Oh, gets dirty. Gathers and throws. And very nicely done for the out. Now bad. The second base. And up next for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Left field. Brings it in. And that'll do it. Cleveland with a pair on this blast. And it's two zip. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Garrett Mitchell. Mitchell. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Noel under it. And there's one away. Up next to Milwaukee. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, William Contreras. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues. And this kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Hits the fence. Now he turns and heads for second. 
The relay throw. Not in time. He's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Next oh. offering is down low. One out and a runner at second. The other way. And a base hit right there. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. One away, runners at first and third. Gary Sanchez now at the plate. Kicks and fires. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Runners at the corners, one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Just outside, and it's two and two. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Swings and misses, struck him out. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Two on, two outs. Missing inside, and it's two and two. Here and two. Two outs. Up and Down in. Full count three and two. Sal Fraley up next for the Brewers. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the righty deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. At the belt and fires. And that'll load the bases. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, bro. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. Contreras, the runner at third. Adamas at second. Hoskins on at first with two down. Pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Berg, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The pitch. Wouldn't Get chase that time. Ball four. No, 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 no. Comes in to score. He's really got himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. The settings definitely getting away from him. Now the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. <laughs> A 1 1. And that one fouled off. Base is loaded. Two down. Hey. 
and a swing and a miss. Inning over, and it could have been worse. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Here at American Family Field, going. top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. Tyler. And leading it off, Tyler Freeman. Freeman. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Tracks it down for the out. One away. The batter. The catcher. Austin Hedges now. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Throws the first in time. Now and the first two set down at the top of the fifth. Steven. No, that slider was way Whoa. out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Comes ah. up empty. That's strike two. One and two to count. Bows it off. Still one and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next oh. offering is downstairs. It's a good take. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. So they go quietly there. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Guardians two and the Brewers one. Back here in Milwaukee and stepping in is the speedy Bryce Terang. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Two, one. And another ball. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Peter Strezlecki appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Morgan getting loose as well. Bunting for a hit. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. No throw, and that's a tough time for an error. This is a big part of his skill set, and he puts himself into situations where he can rely on his speed to impact the ball game. And this is just another example of it, and we'll see what else he can do now that he's on first. No outs. Runner, runner on the goal. Oh, this one high and deep. What about there? And nothing is out of here. And they add a pair. It's 3-2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Number 39 out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New pitcher on now, Scott Barlow. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Up now for Milwaukee, Garrett Mitchell. Left-hand hitter waits. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. And he deals. And a pop up on the left side of the infield. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now the designated hitter, William. And next is the designated hitter, William Contreras. Next That's pitch is downstairs. There's a strike. Two two. Out to short. Freeman throws the first in time. Now that the shortstop, Willie. Adamus. Two outs, bases empty. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Here's a two-one. Wouldn't chase that time. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in. Last half of inning number five. Ground ball, left ball side, ball. and that's just foul. Right-handed reliever. Yeah, there's ball, ball four. Ball. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And the pitch. Yeah. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Two runs for Milwaukee on the dinger. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Top six. Here's Lane Thomas. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Fights that one away, still one and two. And here it comes. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. No, Off that's the it. outside that's edge, and now the count is two and two. On the ground, a third. Tosses to first. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Now Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Next That's pitch is outside. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Next offering is foul back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swings and misses. And he's two away. He's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, yeah. David Fry. He's pitching well, but One not throwing a strike. ton of first-pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And that's in the dirt. That oh. one misses. And now it's three and two. Josh Naylor waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. That one hit to right. 
And it drops in. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Tobias Myers gets the ball now. Number Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Runner at first with two away. Stepping up for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a miss. But in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Two outs. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Around third. Now a relay to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 3-3. Three, three. Now well, we're starting over again. All tied up. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So in now for Cleveland, John Kenzie Noel. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss as he was out what front that time. Man on second, two down. Swings through, and that's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And we're back. Here's a big power threat. Reese Hoskins. Reese The 2-1. On the ground and foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one away. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And now, Sal Fraley. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Third baseman, number three. Two down now, and here is Joseph Ortiz. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. That clips the corner. And this guy's got a great oh, feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Brewers go down quietly, so no change in the score. It's 3-3. Three, three. We go to the top of the seventh, the stepping up for the Guardians. The Andres Jimenez. Andres. Jimenez. The 2-1. Oh. 
in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Fights it off. You'll see another. Kicks and deals. That's out to center field. Freilich after it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now back at the football. Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians. Base is empty, one away. Here, the top half of inning number seven. The shortstop takes the ball. Now fly ball to right center. Mitchell gets under it. They got it for out number two. Now that and next catch, is the Guardians catcher, Austin Hedges. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And now it's one and two. Good eye by Hedges. Stays alive. Lecky comes on now. He's pitching on two days rest. Now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terrain. The second baseman. It's a good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. A big swing and a miss. One, two. And That's another ball. ball. Just okay. misses with that one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. In the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. And a 1-1. One -one. the first out and Chris that's a way to neutralize his no, speed by keeping him off base and the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play but that's how you do it keep him off balance get him out of there and deal with the next guy next for the Brewers Garrett Mitchell left hand batter waits Yeehaw. one ball two strikes Two out. 
Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner off, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. William Contreras will hit next. Pickoff throw. And he's back in safely. Two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. And another ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Up the middle, Jimenez. Whips it to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. They get a leadoff single, but leave him stranded. We look ahead to inning number eight. All tied up at three apiece. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Joel Pyamps. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Steven Kwan digs in now. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubble back card. You see how fun it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become a leader. And it's caught for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. A wind in the pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. And a foul ball. And a one-two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Strike three. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And now, Jose Ramirez. And now it's even up. Two and two. And a good Go eye there. David Fry count. would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And that's ball that's four. That's ball four. Take your base. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. No, no, no. The Two he outs, runner at first. Wow. And next will be the cleanup hitter, David Fry. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Third out. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. All tied up at three apiece. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Eli Morgan. And one thing on now, him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. So digging in, Willie Adamas. The pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good hands allowed him to get the ball up to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Here's Gary Sanchez now. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. One and two. The count. The go ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Ripped on the ground a second. Off balance speed. There's one. Double play. That was some defensive wizardry. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Reese Hoskins up now for the Brewers. So now one and two. One, two. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another oh. ball. And a swing and a miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. It's the ninth, and we are tied. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Brian Hudson. Well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. The first baseman, number 22, Josh Naylor. Ball to strike. And fouled off. He just misses there. That's a really good take. And a pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strike out for the first out here in the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, John Kenzie Noel. All tied up here at the top of the ninth. Light drive. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know he didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Andres Jimenez getting ready to hit. And it is two and one. Right through there for a strike. And another ball. Tyler Freeman on deck for the Guardians. time eight nine one two up in the bottom of inning number nine all tied up at three apiece
And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Sal Fraley. Righty delivers. Misses off the plate. And that's ball three. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Emmanuel Classe up and throwing. Sandler also throwing. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front Third shoulder three. open. Backside collapsed a little bit in the launch angle. Not where he needed it to be. Now here is Joseph Ortiz. Bases empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And a count one and two. The pitch. And there's a the ball. Two and two. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And the right hander deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. Toss to Naylor. And that quickly, two away. No you want to be a great no defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Here's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. Trying to send this to extra innings. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still tied, three and three. Back here at American Family Field. And now the shortstop, Tyler Freeman. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. The There's a ball. And now a wide throw to third. third. I'd say an aggressive roll of the dice there to steal third in this spot, but they felt good about it, and it worked out. Now the game plan changes a little bit at the play to get that go-ahead and run home. The defense might pull the infield in. Wouldn't That's chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. He's in safely at second as a run scores on the play. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And up next for Cleveland, Austin Hedges. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One, two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. No outs, runner on second. Stephen Kwan now in the plate. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. 
Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Bogey, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Lane Thomas will hit next. That one ripped. And that gets down in the corner. The run comes in from second. It's 5-3. And that's a two-out double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle.